back if you've been before and hi if this is your first time I have got the candle lit it is lavender chamomile and vanilla and it does smell lovely and this is from quiet river on Etsy and I think they've got .com as well if I'm right I'm going to put that up there out there so that's for anybody that needs prayers thoughts or positivity know that that candle is lit for you okay right I have managed to do a little bit of stitching this week not an awful lot but I have managed to do some so we're going to talk about what I've done what I plan to do um, I'm going to show you what I've made or I'm in the process of making and then I'm going to at the end I will show you the world of cross stitching magazine for April at the end okay so I hope you stick around <laughs> Right, so first of all, I'm going to cook, show you my peppermint purple salve from Peppermint Purple. So this is my Stiotch bag from last year. I'm hoping they're going to do something again this year. If anybody knows anything, let me know. That's, that's the team, oh yeah, if you didn't know. That's the team that I'm on. Sips and Stitches, that's our team. Run by Jesse from the Slate Pages brilliant team they welcomed me with open arms last year bless them i was so new they didn't care right you don't want to see that because that's patterned it right this is what i did this is 2020s so i finished off that one there last night oh my god i so enjoyed that one it was such a pleasure to stitch oh that's got to be my favourite so far. I absolutely love that one. The design of that one is just, it's a therapeutic one that is. So it's just uh, up and down, up and down, no lines or anything with that one. I just went up and down, up and down. Loved it. Loved the colours. I think that's a 326 colour. I'm not sure. Is it 326? Yeah, 326 red that one is. Right. On this one, I had to do 3608 colour for number nine. All right, see if you can spot the mistake. I didn't spot it. All right, so it's supposed to be 3069. 3608. Last week was 326. All right, can you spot anything that's wrong with that? That was last week's. Should have been here. So that should be there and that should be in the new colour of 3608 but they're both in 362, 326 but because I think it's this one here that's got to be the 326 as well and then it goes into the lighter ones I don't think it's going to be because that looks quite a bit darker than that one so I think I might get away with it but I'm not frogging it <laughs> no I am not frogging it so it'll be unique to me that I've mixed them two up but again, I absolutely love that one. I'm really, really getting into this black, black work. It is so much fun to do. So much fun to do. That was probably a little bit more complicated pattern that I've done, but it, it was just so much fun. So I'll put them up against each other. Can you see? So that's 2021 salt there and I've done all the boxes for that one yeah and then that's the 2020 but I've only done them few boxes there so I've got one row and a few two more to do but aren't they lovely they are so so nice to do if you haven't done them and you've not done black work give it a go it's a free salt it's dropped every Wednesday. It's a bit of fun. The Facebook group are really helpful. They're really lovely. Just, just give it a whirl. You'll be surprised how much you'll enjoy it. So that's them two. As I say, I sat last night and did them about, about two hours. I think it took me to do those two because I was sat in the kitchen talking to the kids and, and stuff as well as doing that. So, right. My mermaid. Gotta love to show you. I've done, done a little bit on my mermaid. Not an awful lot. Did I write down how many stitches I did on the mermaid? Let me have a 
book in my little notebook. What was the last place you look at in it? 117. So I think I've done more than that now. I don't think I've filled that in, but it doesn't matter. I'll have to fill it in. Check it, but I've done all this here now. So all that's completed, that one's completed. That one's completed. So she is looking magnificent. And I'm quite chuffed with my back luck. I don't think I'm doing, for, for a beginner, you know, I don't think I'm doing too bad. But I am loving this. I am, I know, I am two parts behind and a bit, but it's not a race, so I don't care. But I am loving it. Absolutely loving it. So I'm going to hope to work on that. So that's that one. So I'll put that there. Then this one, oh, this is the one I made. <laughs> right, see it's a bit bulky. Yeah, because my 11 by 11 frame came in. So I've got two 11 by 11 frames in this bag, believe it or not. So that's my 11 by 11 frame. You know, I like to, look at my ear, my fridge is so long. But yeah, because the 11 by 11 goes in, oh shit, oh, excuse my language, that way. But doesn't go in quite that way. It just sits up. So it's not quite 11 by 11. But it doesn't matter. It puts two, but I quite really, 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 really like the size. Oh my goodness. Do I like this size? So my other new start. No, my only start. I've got another one in the pipeline for that other frame. Is this. Because if you don't know, if you're new to my channel... I've got a little challenge going on called Anything Mermaid Along. Hashtag Anything Mermaid Along. along. And you can do anything to do with the mermaid, any craft, don't matter, not bothered. I've got a Facebook group called Mermaid's Crafts for everybody to show what they're doing. You can show it on, um, what's it called? Oh gosh, look at me. Instagram or just on your Facebook page and tag it with hashtag Anything Mermaid along and I will get it but this is my entry for the cross stitching one <clears throat> isn't it beautiful quite a few of us are doing that I have no idea how I'm going to do these bits because they're like one stitches and I've never done that without and I'm worried that you're going to be able to see the um, stitches if I just go thread so I have done started there but this is my 8x8 eight eight thread I haven't rolled it up yet and I folded it over there. But I've got, I think I've got about a three inch border around the top. But I'm doing this bit here. Yeah, you see it now? So bring it in a bit closer. But look at the colours. They are gorgeous. But guess who visited? You guessed it. I had to frog out all this here down to there because I. No, I'm sorry, down to there because I miscounted. I had come, I hadn't got over one that way. I, I don't know, put the one stitch in the wrong place and it threw all this out. So I had to frog all that and some of this out to get it to go back over that way, else it would have thrown the whole moon out. So, yeah, do you like my needle minder? That was a gift, gift for me from DD. Thank you, DD. I love it but yeah but that's in an 8x8 and that is such a lovely frame to use size frame I like my 11x11s but I really like my 8x8s so I might get another 8x8 and convert some more I don't know so I want to I want to start with skeletons for the mermaid skeletons so we'll see Right, so I put that in there. So I've got that bulky material in there that I haven't even bothered to fold over. Look. Put my other frame in there. See, two frames. And it stitches up lovely. That's one of my bags I made. So that is all I've managed to do this week. And there is a reason why I haven't done much crafting of any type, but 
you have to be a Patreon to know what, what's been going on. Um, you will get to know eventually. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've had a busy, busy week this week. So if you don't know what Patreon on, that's where people support my channel so I can bring things to you, show you things so you can decide whether you want to buy them or not. And they get inside information into the channel, they get inside information about my personal life, my family, everything. They get to see things that I'm, I'm thinking about doing, I bounce ideas off them that I think I'm going to do for the channel or they'll tell me what things they would like. So, you know, win-win situation. But anyway... The other thing I've been doing, because I said about that bag being an 11 by 8 when I made that bag, this bag, I was hoping to make um, it to fit 11 by 11. Um, now, I showed you last week, Millie made one. I designed it, and Millie made it, and it fitted 11 by 11. So I have made another one to make sure that I could do it, and I've done it on my new sewing machine. But look, it's pandas. Look how cute that is. You call pandas. And you've got the big leaf, print leaf on the back. But look, little pandas. And my stitching isn't too bad. It's a little bit wonky on here because I was getting used to what, I was trying to work out what was the best stitching to have along here. So, and I was not sure what the width was, what the length should be. So I sort of altered it a bit there. But look at the top. Look at them even stitches. Look at them, they're all the same size, guys. See, this is what having a decent machine does for you. I mean, my stitching is never ever gonna be a completely straight line because I'm a winky wonky person who shakes and things. So, do you know what I mean? But it is so sturdy, it is so neat, neat look. It's not gonna come undone. It is really, really solid. I am so chuffed. Absolutely chuffed to bits. And I've got Debbie to thank for that for my machine. So thank you, Debbie. So that's an out 11 by 11. And if you don't believe me, hang on, I'll show you now. Just in case you don't believe me. Now, this is an 11 by 11. It doesn't quite fit in this beautiful case. Right, so that's 11 by 11. All right, I'll prove it because I'll show you against the 11 by 8. Because if you were like me when in the beginning, I didn't know one size from another. So that's 11 by 8. See? And that's 11 by 11. Okay? Better blooming been fit now. <laughs> okay, in it goes. Wow. Sit it up. And on my Instagram, I put my really bulky pandemic one in. It's got loads of material on the back. But you can see it's still loads of room in there. But how cool is that? I'm so chuffed. So chuffed with that. So that's that one done. And then I'm going to have a go and make in some more. This is going to be completely flat. So this will be a project bag that you can just, you know, and it is got interfacing on it, lined with that. So that's the one, a flat one, that I'm going to do. And then this one, I love this material. Jessie from Mislaid Pages, it reminds me of the birdies, all the birds. But this one will be a flat bottomed. So like this will eventually, you know, be like that flat at bottom. So that'll be a project bag with a flat bottom though. But it's in the early stages yet. And that's being interfaced as well. But this will be, you know what I mean by flat bottom, don't you? Where it sits like that. So that's that's what I'm in the middle. I started, I'm just experimenting with sizes, and si what size at the moment to do. So that one's a little bit bigger than any one I've done before. And that's bigger than what I've done. I've only made one before that. So we're going to see. So I shall be doing more of that. So my plans this week is to do some more sewing on these and do some more sizes. I'm going to do some different sizes on the vinyls. I'm not sure which sizes people would like. What's not like? Do the dog's stomach then. Rumbling. What size do you think is the best size for a, for a project bag? Do you think... Lily, your stomach's rumbling. <laughs> that's really going for it I'm not sure 
Should you go bigger? Should you go smaller? Should you go medium? Because I've got three sizes now. I've got that size, which is a six by six. I wonder if an eight by eight can fit in here. This is my smaller one that I made. It'd be a bit tight. It can go in there just, but it'd probably be a bit tight when you've got fabric on it. So I don't know if it would actually go in there once fabric was on it. But an eight by eight would definitely go in there. I would say just. That's all my, all my birdies. So I've got this size. So I've got that size. I've got that size, which is an eight by eight, because that's the big, huge, bulky eleven by eleven. So I've got that size. I've got that size. Hang on, if I put that way, you can see. So it's that size, then that size, and then I'm going to be making that size so you can see how much bigger it is in the grey so there'll be like three sizes and I'm thinking of making an even smaller one of those but I don't know let me know what you think you know shouldn't it like notion bags should you make one with vinyl clear in the front so you can see what flosses and things are in there or what tools are in there thinking of something like that don't know I have ideas going around in my head. You know when you just want to try things but you're not sure whether you, you should do it or not or give it a go or but I'm thinking I just want to have a go at everything. So yeah that might be an idea isn't it? Notion bag with a vinyl vinyl front so you can see what's in there. Mm, right I'll turn you around and we'll have a look at this. Hang on. Right let's get into this baby. So we've got Peter Rabbit chart Plus pretty two month felt frame stitch kit. Spring stitching it says. Let's have a look then. Again, apologise for any wrinkling dinkling. Oh, I like the sound because it always makes me think oh, you're having something like new. Something exciting. Oh, come on out. This is two in one frame kit. All you need to make a bold and beautiful wall art for your home. And this is designed by the tiny modernist. And it's two felt frames, 14 count white ada, cotton threads, colour chart, and key. And you've got but two butterflies. That's really nice, actually. Oh, and it's open. So you've got your frames to make it, your floss, and your two. Well, you put one that one and then you cut them out and then you put them, cut them out to fit your frames. So dead simple. And it's got both, I like the world of stitching because they put both the keys in here rather, and, rather than just in the magazine. So if you wanted to give this to somebody, you could. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've got 100 charts to start today. We love Peter Rabbit, it says. So right, should we get in? Should we have a look? Should see? So this is your April edition, issue 305. If I can get in there, my fingers are not working very well today. Um, subscription form. I might actually take up the subscription because I was really put out that I lost, didn't get the other magazine the other week of the other magazine. So I think I might do the subscriptions because I buy them every month to show you anyway. But this is available for UK only this form, but you can buy them digit, digit, digitally. Is that the word digitally? Anyway, if you if you live abroad. So can we all see? Right, so you've got your welcome page, meet the designers, Leslie Tier, Lisa Reeks, and Heather Nugget Nuckton. Or Nugent, however you want to pronounce it. This is your contents. This is showing you exactly what you've got in your magazine. So your Peter Rabbit, your combined um, abstract ones, your Islamic ones, little doggy. So it tells you and tells you what pages you're on on there. It always has a furry tails. I love my furry tails. I've only done two, I think, now of these. The Halloween one. I can't remember what the other one was. I started. I don't know whether I finished it, I must hide it out. But you could do samplers with these because if you buy this every month, they give you a different one. And can you imagine all these little mouses on a, on a sampler um, being framed? Beautiful. 
Then it meets us, meet our guests, Dawn Pagant, Rebecca Smith and Roxanne Birmingham. Tells you all about them. Uh, and then if you hadn't got this and the chart, then you can do it from here as well. It tells you the DMC colours that you've got, um, what you need and your charts there. So that's good. So if you did lose this and you're thinking, I really would have liked to have done that, you still can. It says top tip, highlight the rows on the chart as you go so you don't lose your place of stitches. I always do that. Well, I um, use a pencil and block them out. Right, Once Upon a Time, Enjoyed by Generations, brings Beatrix Potter's tale and illustration of a lovely bunny to life in a cross stitch. And it says Beatrix Potter. Beatrix was a British writer and illustrator who is best known for her 23 exquisitely drawn children's books about animals. As a passionate naturalist, Beatrix took inspiration for her round it surroundings in the lake district so we have peter rabbit with a bunch of flowers and it's 45 hours to take it cross stitch back stitch easy stitching is beginner to advanced beginner so that's it there um count stitches 120 high by 89 wide and they used um 14 count or a 28 count even weave and this has been converted to this pattern by Fiona Baker and stitched by Angela Otwell yeah so that is nice and who doesn't like Peter Rabbit come on be fair <clears throat> I could have a sip of tea <clears throat> I'm trying to increase my water intake and well liquid intake because I've started, since I've done this planner, I've been recording what, how much I'm drinking and I've realised I'm drinking nowhere near enough. And you need to be hydrated. So these are all the letters off people that you can read. I'm not going to tell you about them because if you want to get the magazine, then you need something to read, won't you? It's not good me telling you everything. You always have um, four pages, to, I think it's four pages, yeah, four pages of letters from everybody telling you what they've been up to. Um, <clears throat> this is Herbal Remedies, 12 delicate labels to choose from. It'll take two to three hours to do each. Type of stitches, cross stitch fractionals and back stitches and it's for beginners and advanced beginners. And it's designed by Jenny Van Der Waal. Um, growing herbs has become a real interest of mine, so it'll be lovely to cross stitch them. I hope these plant labels will add a special touch to the potted herbs you grow in the garden. These would be nice in your windowsill, wouldn't they? They would be nice, I have to admit. I quite like them. Um, then on 14 count Rustico Oatmeal Ada. And it says, does it say the stitch count? 22 high by 27 wide. So, and it, so that's good, isn't it? And you can buy all the thread and fabric costs for approximately £16, it says, if you want to. Oh, look. It's This is by Durian Jones. This is, oh, look. She said, I'd love the chart of my mini long head that soon. My dog is black and I don't know how to show... Oh, this is somebody that's wrote in, sorry. Um, I don't know how to show long hair in a cross stitch so i'd be most very grateful if you help <coughs> if people who don't know people write in every month um, of an animal or whatever and they're saying they got, they'd love a chart of it but they don't know how to do it and they do it for them and this one is done on a 14 count weight white ada it's 24 centimeters by 24 centimeters and then she done a key there of how to that's a dog, picture of the dog, and that looks there. And I've got to admit, it's very lifelike, isn't it? And it says back stitching adds to Chloe the Datsu character. So it's important to keep your back stitches as short as possible to recreate the special effect. Then we have the Letosaurus this week. Oh, dinosaurs by the look of it. 
and 14 count wide white ada they've used and then they've just put it on a bit of card and it says stitch your little one's favorite dinosaurs from the alphabet collection that joyfully jurassic with a colorful twist so this would be nice for a door sign wouldn't it and then you have all of them there and it's three to four hours each cross stitch back stitch french knot ease of stitch and advanced or intermediate looks lovely doesn't it and then it says ask the experts some questions um this one was um somebody asked if they could oh look it says melissa requested this handsome breed of dog in blonde colors a german shepherd oh he's so good so they did that for her and then there's some questions answered here about fractionals what they look like and sizing needle sizes all different bits of information there for you to read again questions and answers then we've got oh that's that's a nice one sunshine and spice this mexican kitchen isn't it and it does look really really mexican with the pots by leslie tear i've always relished working on portraits of international ladies especially when my love of color can take center stage this woman's kitchen is as much of the focus of the design as she is she goes about her daily tasks and it is isn't it because i was drawn to these these pots as well and um not packed aloe vera that looks like doesn't it that is beautiful that looks like um, chilies hanging from the pot. It says 85 hours to do this one. Cross stitch fractionals, back stitches, advanced beginner to intermediate. The kit, the um, counts, stitch count is 140 high by 112. Design area is about 25.5 um, to 20.5 centimeters, which is a 10 by in inch done on a 14 count or 28 count even weave. So that's lovely. Then you've got your bossy threads. I love bossy threads. They're so lovely. So cute. Then all the best buys that you can buy and where you can buy them. Then again, it's telling you about that you can subscribe to them. Another advertisement for another time. This, oh, I like this one. Hello, old bean. Let the design bearers to serve up the best coffee shop motifs. <gasps> these are nice. I like these. A thirst quenching designs by Dorian Jones. And who doesn't like Dorian Jones? I like that. <laughs> Where have you been all my life? You're my best tea. Oh, I've got to do that for my, my hubby. He's always saying he's gasping for a cup of tea. Oh, I like that. But first, coffee. They're really good, aren't they? I really, really like them. Honey and lemon. Happy birthday. My cherry sweet cupcake. They are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I could do that for his birthday, wouldn't I? And say that's your birthday present. It says stitched on coloured or pattern fabric for bold results polka dot ada would make a really fun background if you wanted to change the backgrounds oh it's got lots of things it's got got big coffee pots coffee mugs jam croissants different cupcakes um coffee with cream on the top coffee bag coffee shop coffee grinders oh my god there's so much there guys so much there oh gosh yeah oh and another page of them i wish i could show you but i'm not allowed coffee beans coffee kettle different tea bags teapots coffee different coffee pots even a donut <gasps> gotta do them i will be doing some of those for my hubby swallows and tulips this is by Amanda Butler. The arts and crafts movement have always held an interest for me, so designing this set has been an absolute dream. I loved incorporating my favourite shapes and colours to create lovely pieces for the home. So this is 65 hours to do the whole set. 
which is just these squares here, cross stitch blending, back stitch French knot and it's intermediate. The shopping list you will need is 14 count white Ada, measuring 25 by 25 centimetres, the strands of thing there and then thick napkins, coaster or placemat to put them on after. And it's 80 by, the maximum height of is 80 by 80. And they did it on 14 count, 28 count even weave. So that's nice, isn't it? Very nice. Oh, this is a nice one to welcome spring in, isn't it? Oh, I like that. Hello, spring. It says, indulge yourself by stitching this relaxing project as a present for your home. You deserve it. That is really, really pretty, isn't it? Really pretty. And this is by Nia Hrind. Spring to me is the daffodils in March, April showers, May blossom, the beginning of fresh new life. It was great fun to portray these elements all together in the sampler, stitched in the fresh pastel colours. I think that is beautiful. Look at the little duckies and little eggs and chicks in there. Oh no, it's a little chick, look. Little birdies. 20 hours to stitch, cross stitch and back stitch and it's for a beginner. I love the lettering as well. The lettering's very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. And it says it is 103 high by 153 wide. Again, 14 count, 28 count even weave. That's the design area. And it says if you wanted Ada measuring, if you got it by 35, 44 centimetres piece of Ada, that would be big enough. But you can again, you can buy the thread and the fabric from the company that's advertised in here for £26. This is cool for cats. Oh, this is nice as well. Oh, hoo -hoo, look at all these putty cats. Oh, I like this. Nice, bright and cheerful. This is by Lisa Reeks. I enjoy working on different patterns and this was a joy to create. I was excited about the varied abstract and floral designs sur surrounding the cat frames. And I loved the play of colours throughout. This would take you... 70 hours, cross stitch fractionals and back stitches, advanced beginner and intermediate. There is a lot going on there. There's a lot of back stitching, a lot of back stitching. You've got to love back stitching, I think, to do this one as well because there's loads. But oh, isn't it worth it? Isn't it beautiful? And if you're a cat lover, that is absolutely stunning. And this is a stitch count of 112 high by 112 wide. I think they do them all at 14 count Ada's measurements. 37 by 37 centimetres piece of fabric you would need to do that. Then in the spotlight, every week they have somebody that's in the spotlight. And this one is Perry Abdel Hadi. She's an artist. So... They just go ask certain artists every month and they ask them all different questions. Like, can you tell me a bit about your home life? What is your most memorable cost stitch design that you've ever done? Can you tell us a little about your design process? Do you stitch for pleasure as well? You know, so you get all that in, inside information. Then we have Blessed... Yeah. I don't know how you say that. Sorry, I do apologise. I have no idea. This marks the Muslim festival with a joyful set of cards. So it's quite nice to see something like this in here. And this is 15 to 20 hours, cross stitch, back stitch, French knot, intermediate. And this is by, again, by Perry. Oh, sorry, got itch. Abdel Hadi that you've just read about back here. So that's nice. So you've re read a bit about her and then you're going to see her work. She said, I hope these cards bring happiness and joy. I wanted to give a brief glimpse into the Islamic culture and to add, to add a flavour of the Arabian artistry of Arab, Arabesic, I don't know, by using black work stitches to reflect Islamic decoration. Sorry I butchered that, but I had a go. They are nice though, aren't they? They do really, really capture it. Um, it's an, The highest one is 80 high by 80 wide. Again, you'd need um, 28 count um, 
Swagar that they've used, even weave 24 centimeter by 24 centimeter. That's the biggest piece that they've used on that. So that's nice. You have all them. And then you've got your competitions where you can win prizes of them there. And then you've got the Happy Easter one. So this is by Heather Nugent. My Halloween wreath from issue 298 had such a lot of love. I had created a similar design for Easter. If you have other small seasonal charts you love, why not stitch them and add them to the display? And that's what she done. I like quite like that. Just that sign on its own. This is four to ten hours. Cross stitch, fractionals, back stitch, beginners and advanced beginners. I really like that sign. It really appeals to me. I'm not over keen on the rest, but that's just me. But there's a chick and a rabbit and but you know. And I love tulips. I do like it all, but I don't know why I'm just drawn to that. And then it is 51 high by 76 is the highest one stitch count. And it tells you how to make the wreath as well if you're going to make it from from scratch or like me you'd go to a shop or buy it online we can't go to a shop now because we're still in lockdown after three months but you know oh now this is that's nice um fabby's master class discover new techniques every month so every month she comes in and she shows you a new technique to learn so this is gold work this month we're looking at chip work, it's called, which is a gold work embroidery technique used to add sparkle detail to a design. It uses bright check pearl embroidery metals, which you simply snip into tiny chips to make your fill in. Here we've added the cut pieces to the centre of the sun design by using a sharp needle and threading through the centre of each chip as you would a bead. Wow. That looks very, 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 very time consuming. But oh my God, that is, I don't know if you can see down there, but they are tiny, tiny, tiny. That would take forever. Does it tell you how long? It says 12 hours it should take you to do this piece. Cross stitch, back stitch, couching stitch, chip work beads. I have no idea what couching stitch is either. I'd have to look that up. But tells you it all step by step and the height is stitch count is 54 high by 54 wide and then we have um not a lot on that one then on the back covers we have how to stitch how you stitch it and also the little doggy which comes on that tells you so these pages tell you if you've never stitched before you would look at these and it would show you exactly how to do everything on here that one there will tell you stitch by stitch what you need to do how you need to do it and then this on here is take a break and that's it and my dad's just walked in so i'm gonna have to say goodbye thank you ever so much sorry about the tap going on guys my dad making a cup of tea so with that i'll have to say thank you for stopping by if you're not subscribed you might fancy it press the notification button by the side which will tell you when i go live and when I upload a week, tell me if you answer some of the questions that I put in the video. Again, very sorry for the noise. Um, I've forgotten what I've got to say now to end the video. Um, leave a comment if you want down below. Have a chat on my social medias down below. And again, I apologise for the ending. I can't do anything about it. So I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now. Take care. Love you all.